Hi everyone, it's Hillary from Heart for Handmade. I just wanted to show y'all my um, first project here creating with Chalk Couture. I'm using the established wreath. Um, it comes in an eight and a half by 11 sheet and I went ahead and separated all of the pieces. Um, the back of each sheet has instructions on how to do this and how to care for your transfers. So I peeled my transfer off the backing and I put my wreath down in the middle of my board, smoothed it out. Now I'm using an evergreen chalk paste. I opened it and stirred it up real good with my squeegee. That's a small squeegee that I cut in half. So now I'll just smooth it all over the image, making sure that it gets in all those silk screen places. Once you get it all smoothed out and around, you're gonna to wanna to go around and scoop off as much excess as you can. Get it back into your container. No need to waste any. So try to get off as much as you can. The great thing I love about this product is that it does seem to go a long way. And there I got some baby wipes. Baby wipes are definitely helpful for cleaning up little um, mistakes that you might have on your boards, as well as cleaning up your little sponges and fingers and all that stuff. Since I'm so new to this, I'm still a little bit messy with getting on my fingers. So when you're done, you're gonna wanna peel your transfer off. Took me a little extra time to get this one off since it was brand new, it was a little stickier. You can stick them on like a pant leg or a shirt to kind of fuzz them a little bit. If you would like, it takes, you know, just enough of the sticky off that it's still sticky, but it's not, um, it doesn't want to stay as much. Um, after I peeled off that one, I put it to my right. I have a dish of warm water next to me. So after you peel them off, it helps to put them right into the water. And now I am putting on my other pieces. Um, if you saw a minute ago, that established was actually in the middle of my wreath and it wasn't, it was part of it and actually supposed to stay there. But I being a rebel took my X-Acto knife and cut the established out of the middle of the wreath because I wanted to be able to easily place it in a different place on my board instead of having to try to work around the wreath to do so. So now I'm putting my white chalk paste on all of my numbers. Um, what I'm using now is a half of a small squeegee cut in half. I like that you can cut them in half so you can have cut them in whatever size that you need for whatever kind of detail work that you're doing. And then you see I did that too and then I peeled it off and moved it to the end so I can finish my year. It's gonna be a neat little board to put in my entryway with mine and my husband's anniversary. So now I'm taking them all off and putting them in the bowl of water next to me. You wanna soak them off very well in a bowl of water and then it's advised that you also wipe them down with the sanitizer wipe um, and then lay them on a towel sticky side up to dry. And then once they're dry, you can place them back on the sheet and put them back in their little pouch. So I just cleaned up a little bit of mess there and now my project's complete. Thank you.